Hi, my name is Carol and this is Hummingbird Spot. I'm walking around the property with William Oriana and Javier Munoz. We're in Ayampe, Ecuador, and it's our last morning at El Campito Lodge. We met up with Victor Garcedo, the administrator for El Campito. We walked with Victor past the dining room and past our cabins to a place where Victor said he saw hummingbirds feeding from flowers on the blooming Inca trees. And here we spotted a female blue-chested hummingbird. I will undoubtedly see this species again and I'll try to get a male for you in the future. This is a new species for me. We had not seen this yesterday and you found it right here on your Hermosa <laughs> tree. <Yeah. laughs> Nice. Fantastic! <laughs> She was not the only bird here. There was also a rufous-tailed hummingbird feeding on the blossoms. And this rufous-tailed hummingbird loved to chase the female blue-chested hummingbird. We said goodbye to El Campito and started the long drive back to Guayaquil. We stopped for lunch at the beach at Playa San Pablo. Here is my ceviche lunch for this afternoon. Look at this. And of course, William got some great drone footage here. drive to Guayaquil, we went to Bosque Protector Cerro Blanco. This is a private reserve of about 15,000 acres set aside for the protection of the local wildlife, and this includes more than 200 species of birds. We're at Cerro Blanco, and this is Benjamin. He's going to try to find us a baron's hermit, a little wood star, maybe. Or, I mean, a short-tailed short wood star. We'll see. There are nature trails throughout the property and bilingual guides are available for trail hikes. We had a nice hike on the property, but the only hummingbird we could find today was an Amazilia hummingbird, one of our old friends we saw on our very first trip to Peru. Benjamin told us he knew of an active nest, and if we wanted to see it, he would get permission for us to enter the property the next morning. We said absolutely, and we would meet him at Cerro Blanco in the morning. It's morning, and we're on our way to Cerro Blanco. We have a lead on a black-throated mango's nest. We're gonna see if she's still on the nest and it'd be great to get some video footage there. But we're also looking for the short-tailed wood star and this would be a new species for us. Let's see what we can find. We drove to the property and then Benjamin led the way to the nest. See that tree over there? On the top of the of the hill? hill? Well there is a nest of the, of the black throated mango. You better serious man about it. Yeah we will we will reach to that point. <laughs>
Benjamin Navis discovered this black-throated mango nest and we hiked up here in the cow field, I think, <laughs> to come find it. It's very high in the tree. William got you some great video of it and I'm trying to get pictures. It seems like when the mother flies away and then she flies back, she immediately sits down. She doesn't make any attempt to feed anything, so the eggs probably haven't hatched yet. But it's so cool to see a black-throated mango nest. A short way from the nest, we stopped when someone spotted a tiny hummingbird flitting around the brush. And sure enough, it was the short-tailed wood star. The short-tailed wood star is tiny, and as its name describes, it has a very, very short tail that doesn't extend beyond its wingtips. The male has a purplish-pink gorget that's bordered by white above and below. It's found along the coast in Ecuador and in northern Peru. We said goodbye to Benjamin and it was time to leave Guayaquil and start the drive to the Umbrella Bird Lodge, our next destination. Mm -hmm.